Hello everyone, I'm teacher Hadil. How are you doing today? I hope that you are all doing fine. Let's start our science class week 8. Materials needed. Please bring your science book and your pencil. We have chapter number one. The title of the chapter is Force and Motion. Lesson number one. What is motion? Learning objective. I will know how things change position when they move. Now, we have two pictures for the bus. Please look at the pictures. How can you tell if the bus is moving? You can see in picture number one, the bus is far away from the sign. But in picture number two, the bus now is beside the sign. This is means that the bus is moving. Look at the boy sliding down the slide. How can you tell if the boy is in motion? The boy is sliding from the top of the slide to the bottom of the slide. So the boy change his position from the top of the slide to the bottom of the slide. This is mean that the boy is in motion. Now, motion means is the change in the position of an object. Now please look at the picture, especially look at Sally. Question number one. I want to ask you, where is the place of Sally? Your answer should be to the left of Mary. Now I will use another word, position. And I will ask you the question, where is the position of Sally? Your answer should be the same to the left of Mary. So. Place and position, both of them, they have the same meaning. Another question. Look at Peter and tell me, where is the position of Peter? Correct. Your answer should be to the right of Sam. Another question. Where is the position of Sam? Correct. Your answer should be behind Mary. So, at the end, you can use words like left and right to describe the position. Now, I will ask you another question. Where is the position of the cap? Your answer should be in the front of the box. So, you can use words like in front of describe the, the position. The question is, where is the position of the cat in this picture? Your answer should be behind the box. So, you can use words like behind to describe the position. Now, in this picture, where is the position of the bird? Your answer should be above the box. So, you can use word like above to describe the position. At the end, we should know the meaning of position. Position is the place or location of an object. You can describe the position of an object by comparing it with position of other objects. For example, 
Look at the police station picture. Where is the position of the police station? Your answer should be to the left of the hospital. Now, please look at the picture and let's try to find the answer for question number 5, page 10. How would the position of the bus seem to change as the white car moves along the road? Your answer. First, the boat will be in front of the car, then it will be behind the car. Now, let's try to find the answer for question number six. If you were riding in the white car, the red car would appear to move toward you. How would you describe the position of the red car once you passed it? Your answer should be, it would be moving away. Now let's, let's find the answer for question number seven. Write a caption that tells about the yellow car's position. You can see in the picture that there is a yellow car, red car, and light blue car. Now, let's write a caption that tells about the yellow car's position. The yellow car is in front of a white car and behind a light blue car. If you want to know how fast you move, you need to find your speed. For example, Look at this boy in the picture. Speed tells how quickly or slowly an object changes its position. Fast objects change their positions quickly. Now look, look at this boy in the picture. Slow objects change their positions slowly. So speed is the distance an object moves in a certain amount of time. For instance, the distance from your home to school is 100 meters, and you walk it in 50 seconds. Let's try to find the speed. The speed is the distance divided by the time, and here the distance is 100 meters divided by the time 50 seconds so your answer would be 20 meters per second now let's talk about the kinds of speed we have two types number one constant speed an object changes position at the same rate the object does not speed up or slow down. Number two, variable speed. For example, look at the picture. A bus slow down to pick up passengers and then speed up to take them to their destination. For example, the roller coaster moves at a variable speed. Now, let's answer question number 9, page 13. Give two examples of objects that move at variable speed. Your answer is number 1, a car moving in traffic. Number 2, a skater going up and down hills. At the end, guarded questions, page 13, question number 10. Describe three examples of motion you might see on a playground. You can see ball bouncing, people running, Tito moving up and down. Now question number 11. 
How does the motion and position of each roller skate change as a person skates down a sidewalk? Look at the picture, please. And the answer is, first, one roller skate is in front, then the other roller skate is in front. You have this link for watching a video. Enjoy your time. Now, at the end of our lesson, please do the assignment in the workbook, pages 15 and 16. Number 2, on personal account, observing at the airport. Thanks for watching.